Hey guys, welcome back. Kim here. Thank you for joining me today on this cardio core workout. Today's workout is going to be fun. What we're going to do is we're going to start with five cardio exercises, then we'll hit the floor for five core, then we'll go back to five more cardio, five core to finish off. I do have a warm up and a cool down in this workout. No equipment is necessary, but I am going to be using a block as a visual for myself on the cardio. You can grab a block if you have one. If not, a dumbbell will work or a book, something that you can place on the floor. So go ahead, get yourself set up, grab some water, and let's get started. Let's warm it up. First, we're gonna bring our feet together and we're just gonna push our hips out to the side. Really stretch it out. Just leaning. Three, two, I'm gonna go into some hip circles here. So butt back, then forward. Keep those knees bent. We're just loosening up through the waist, squeezing our glutes, pulling our belly button in, getting it ready to work. Let's go the other direction. Circle it. Three more. Last one. All right, reach one arm up and pull it down. Reach, pull. So we're getting a stretch and we're working those obliques in this warm up. Reach it out for four, three. Last one, other side. Inhale up and pull. Get nice and long. Reach. Three, two, one, elbows to the side, and let's just rotate them to the back wall. Getting into those obliques. And now I want to stretch out the back just a little bit, so I'm going to reach my arm. Pull. Good. Little bounce in the knee if you like. Four, two, one, inhale, up, exhale, bend and bend those knees all the way down, squatting back, starting to get those legs going. Two more. Last one. Let's keep those arms up and bring those knees up to our chest. Pull that tummy in and you're gonna lean back slightly. We gotta get that heart rate up. So we're adding bigger movements now. Let's go four, two, and one. Let's bring those arms out. We're gonna kick forward. Stretch out through the back of the hamstrings. If you can't touch your toe, that's okay. Just bring it up as high as you can. Swinging it out, four, three, Arms up and tap that toe to the side. Woo. Nice low jack right here. You can stay here. I'm gonna take it into a jump jack pretty quick here because I wanna get that heart rate up. But if you're staying low, bend those knees, reach it. All right, jump jack if you want. Just a few more, let's go for three, two, one. Plant those feet, we're gonna punch it forward. Lock that core in nice and strong. Whew. Punch, punch. Three, two, one, take it down. Stretch out that inner thigh, bring it center. Over to the other side, hips forward. Nice and slow. Last two. And one. I'm going to turn to the side. We're going to go into some heel digs. Push our hips back. Really reach it. Good. Reach the arms forward. Getting into those calves. 
into the hamstrings and the glutes. Last two and one. Good, I wanna bring my hip heels up to my glutes, stretch up the quads. Tap those heels back. We're almost done this warm up. Good job. Four, three, two, one. Give me a big rep in and out. Swing those arms. Really open up that chest. Let go. And one. All right, I'm gonna grab my block that I mentioned I'll be using in this workout. But if you're using a dumbbell, grab whatever you're using. And we're gonna be toe tapping on it. If you're going low impact, come a little lower in that squat just so you can get a little bit harder work. And another option is throw a booty band around your knees, make it a little harder. All right, we're gonna work in about three seconds. And I want you to just go as quick as you can, but make sure you're paying attention. Don't get your feet caught up in the dumbbell if that's what you're using. I don't want anybody tripping. Pump those arms. So you're gonna work as hard as you can for these 45 seconds. Nice work. Let's pump those arms. Woo. You're doing it. We've got 10 seconds. Let's go. My mat sliding all over the place. Take a break. All right, jump jacks. And again, you can go low jack or Jack with the booty band on, wrapped around those ankles. I'm gonna take us into a basic jump jack right here. Here we go. Low impact, take it here. Just take out the hop. You can do this whole workout today. Low impact if you choose. Nice work. Really get those arms up and over your head. Pop those feet out, stay up on the toes. Keep your knees bent. You're doing great, we've got about 10 seconds. Keep pushing through. Pull that tummy in. Nice work. We're gonna go to a squat calf raise. So this one, we come down, up on the toes, and lift back up. So this one's low impact. No option necessary. You ready to work? Here we go. Down, up on the toes, up. Feet are under your hips. Belly pulled in, push that hip back. Watch those knees, guys. Don't let them shut forward. You wanna focus on that form. We're getting our calves worked right here. So all of our cardio exercises are what I would consider somewhat medium to high intensity, but I'm not doing any major jumping. No burpees, no squat jumps today. Good, some of you will love that, some of you might not. All right, jump rope. So, low impact, I really want you to bring those knees up. Okay, pretend you got a skip rope in your hand. We're gonna skip for 45 seconds, here we go. So we really wanna circle those arms, getting a little bit of upper body movement. You can make the movement bigger or smaller and come up onto the toes and lift those knees if you wanna go into more of a high knee or you can stay low. Whew, 15 seconds, let's go. Woohoo, almost there. Great job, take a break. We're going into ladders. So imagine you've got a ladder, your feet are on the inside, you're gonna walk it to the outside of that ladder and back in. 
you can go fast or slow, walk or run. We're going right here, in and out. You're up on the toes, stay on your toes. Pull the belly button in, don't let it go. The whole workout today, we're pulling that transverse abdominal. So the girdle muscle, the deep, deep muscle in our abs that pulls everything in and makes everything look smaller and flatter. Whew. We're almost there. This is it. Then we're gonna take 30 seconds. We're gonna to head to the floor. We're gonna do our first core set. We got three, two, keep working, keep working, and break. All right, if you need some water, get it. I'm gonna come on down to the floor. So we're gonna start with what's called the hundreds. Make sure my mic is still on, it is good. Okay, so my heels are back. Sorry, my back is back. My hands are by my side. I'm in a V sit, and I'm gonna be pumping those arms. If you want to do the breath, it's inhale, 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 exhale, 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 exhale. Five counts, I probably only counted four. If you don't wanna worry about the breath, don't. Just pump the arms, keep that back straight. Here we go, pump. Pump those arms. Whew. And because we're doing 45 second circuit, we may not necessarily do 100, but the idea on the 100s is to do 100 breaths. All right, so we're keeping that tummy in. Nice straight back. Imagine you have to go potty, okay? So that's the thoughts in engaging that core, activating that pelvic floor. Good job, let's take it down to the floor. We're gonna go into single leg stretches. So my shoulders are gonna be off the mat. I'm gonna pull one knee in, one leg is extended straight out. I'm gonna pump two counts. Now, my hip bones and my lower rib cage are pressing into the floor. If they're not, lower those shoulders and you can make this a little bit easier by taking out some of that rectus abdominis work. But if you can keep that low rib cage and the hip bones on the floor, you're good. You're activating that transverse, protecting that spine. Breathe. Keep holding, we're almost there. All right, take a rest. We're gonna do the same thing this time. It's a double leg hop though. So we're gonna bring both knees in. Get that back on the ground. We extend, pull back in. And feel free to take those shoulders to the floor if you want. Out and in. Exhale here, inhale. You don't have to take those legs very far low down. The idea is to keep that core engaged. Work those deep core muscles. That's gonna make your tummy look flatter. Reach. Nice work. We're gonna do some scissors. So one leg is gonna be extended straight up. One is gonna be out. We're gonna lift those shoulders off the mat. We're keeping our eyes either up forward or just slightly to the corner. So nice space between your chin and your chest. Good, pull that leg in. Pelvic floor on the floor. So the back, the little knobby areas in the back of your pelvis bone are pushing into the floor. That rib cage is down. You're breathing. Nice 
How are you doing? We're getting there. Oh yes. All right, last one, bicycle crunches. So I'm just gonna give my head a rest. Shoulders are gonna come off the floor. Knees are at 90. And we're just gonna bring that shoulder across to our knees. Here we go, side to side. Crunching. Inhale, exhale, let the air out of that belly. Protect your neck by keeping that space in between your chin and your chest and refrain from tugging on that head. Okay, if you are tugging on your head, maybe you wanna come here and give the neck a rest. Maybe this one isn't right for you today. We're almost there. I know this is tough. Five core right back to back. Great work, grab your water. Come on up, we're gonna do our next cardio set. We're gonna start with a hop over. So I am using my block here. You could have your dumbbell. I'm gonna hop it over or you're gonna go low impact, but you're gonna get nice and low into that squat and tap that foot over. We got 45 seconds, we got five cardio exercises coming up. So get prepared to work. All right, shake it out. You ready to go in four, three, two, work. Really try to get those knees up, up on the toes. Getting some clearance over your object, doesn't matter how big or small it is. Nice work. 20 seconds, keep going. Great, all right, move your object, get it out of the way. We're gonna lunge and punch. So I'm lunging, punching, and either just switching or hopping. Catch that breath. We're gonna work hard again, right here. Punch, up on the toe, drive that leg back. Really pivot though, turn those hips. Let's go. Whew. This workout's gonna be over before you know it. So give it all you got. You're gonna get what you put into this. 15 seconds. gonna bob and weave. Catch your breath. So we're gonna add a little core into this one. Imagine someone's gonna punch you in the stomach, right? So activate that core. Then you wanna get away from them. Come up. Bend those knees up on the toes. You wanna keep it strong through that core. Protect yourself. So not only cardio, a really good core exercise right here. Bob and we've got low. Duck it. They're coming at you. You're low. Up on the toe. Imagine you have to pee. Okay, and you gotta stop it. Keep it core strong. We're almost there. Whew. Seven, six. Oh Lord, all right. We're gonna go knees up, knee raises with a hop or take out the hop. Arms up, we're gonna crunch it in. So focus on bringing those abdominals in as you raise those knees, pull those arms down. Pull up, pull 
four. Woo. We got one more cardio after this. Then we're hitting the floor for our final abs. Abs and core. Pull. Nice job, we're gonna go fast feet, touch down. So we go, one, two, three, four, pop it down and up. You can march or jog, run. You ready to work? Bend those knees, one, two, three, four, pop. One, two, three, four, pop, or get down. One, two, three, four, woo! Six seconds. Get low. Bend those knees. Pop it down. Whew. Pop a drop. Whew. All right. Go get some water. Head down to your mat. And we're going to start in a plank position. And you can plank from your knees or your toes. So, what we're gonna do, I'll just show it from my knees to demonstrate. So hands are under our shoulders, then I'm gonna walk them forward and then back. Okay, so you're either on your knees or toes for this one, but it's the same thing. So we're extending the arms to make those abdominals work harder. Hands under your shoulders, bend your elbows. Regardless if you're on your knees or your toes, you're sucking that belly in. Here we go, walk it out. Walk your hands forward, then walk them back. Try to keep that butt down. Activate your quads. So nice and strong, trunk all the way through those legs. The roots are squeezing. Extend those arms. Has got some sweat dripping down. How are you feeling? You're almost done this workout. You did amazing. You just gotta give it a little bit more. Good. Take it down into a child's pose. Quick stretch, because we're gonna go back into that full plank. So if you're not full planking today, you're on your knees, you're actually just gonna come here, shift your weight from side to side. Otherwise, we're full plank. We're piking, touching our opposite toe. So drive the tailbone up, pull the belly in, keep some elbow bent. Seconds. Good. Drop it down. We're going to turn over. Let me just turn this to the side. So, part of our core is our glutes. And this one works both the rectus, or sorry, the transverse and our glutes. We're going to lift up, open the knees. Hold here. So if you have a booty band, this makes it that much harder. So what I'm doing here is my glutes are squeezed, my transverse is engaged, my low back muscles, actually my whole back muscles are engaged. So that is my core, my trunk. Basically your torso and your glutes, that's what make up your core muscles. Belly strong, we're almost there. Whew. Good job, all right, lower it down. We're gonna do some runner's crunches. 
So legs are gonna extend, our hands are right by our side. We're gonna crunch up and bring one knee up towards our chest and then extend everything back down. All right, here we go. Lift, push that back and pelvis into the ground. So rib cage, pelvis bones, pushing into the mat. Exhale up. Keep working. You're almost there. Oh, last one. We're gonna do what's called the dead bug. So, knees are gonna come up to tabletop or 90 degrees. Let's get that pelvic bone on the ground, rib cage down. Arms are gonna be straight up. I'm lifting my shoulders. I'm extending my left arm and right leg at the same time without lifting those four points on my back. Focus on breathing, focus on keeping that core strong. So a nice strong core protects that whole body for pretty much everything you do in life, including working out. And as I mentioned before, that transverse really acts like a girdle. So if you are like me, in your late 40s, our muscles start to weaken and you might start noticing you're getting a little bit of a pot belly and it's not necessarily fat. Bring those knees in. It could be, and this sounds gross, but it's true, that your innards are kind of hanging out because that transverse isn't strong and pulling everything in. So core is one of the best works you can do to flatten out that tummy. Not 100 sit-ups, because that won't do it. Let's just shake it side to side. We're just gonna go into a nice little stretch here. All right, extend those legs out, arms over your head. Stretch out those abdominal muscles. How do you feel? How's that tummy feel? Good, bring one knee into your chest. Nice deep breath in, and I'm gonna rock this over to the side. So taking my right hand on my left knee, I'm pulling that knee across the body and keeping both of my shoulders down on the floor. I'm extending my left arm out to the side. And if you want, if it's comfortable, you can turn your head and look at your left fingertips. If that bothers your neck, you can just turn it back over to the right. So nice spinal twist. We want to keep flexibility in for our core muscles. Let's bring it back, rolling onto our back. I'm going to keep this left leg up and I'm going to bend my right knee, hook my left ankle over top of that right knee, and then take my hands, so in a pretzel position, hands behind my right thigh, pull those knees towards me, getting a little deeper into the glute muscle here, our booties. right leg all the way up, pull that toe down. Now you're gonna get that into your hamstring and calf. And extend that down. Let's do the other side. So left leg all the way out, pull your right knee in towards your chest, and then slowly peel that knee across shoulders down and turning your head if it's comfortable.
start to bring yourself back so you're flat on your back hook that right ankle over the left knee pretzel position get into that glute on the right side flex your heels and you might feel that even deeper into the butt good extend that back leg pull the toe down And bring those legs down roll yourself up either like I did or roll to the side we're gonna sit up nice and tall extend those legs out in front of us pull the toes towards us nice straight back inhale the arms up exhale hinging forward try not to pull on this so wherever you feel that stretch you drop your hands it could be on your shins it could be on your feet doesn't matter pull the toes towards you If I cry when I'm blue, if I cry alone when I am with you. All right, I'm gonna flip over because I want to get into those hip flexors. So a lot of times when we're doing cardio and just in daily life, all are walking, sitting, our hip flexors are working, we need to stretch them. So one leg forward, I'm gonna stay in a nice low lunge for this. Push my hip down towards the floor. Let's switch sides. Last stretch. Nice deep breath in. When I am calling your name. Let's lift up onto that toe. Step your feet forward. Let that body hang if down. I Inhale. Reach the arms out to the side. Palms up towards the ceiling. Right. And bring it down. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that workout. If you have any questions about any of the exercises we did, feel free to leave me a comment and I'll get back to you when I can. Stay safe, guys. I'll see you on the next workout. Tonight, if I